So through here, this is an old Badger run through here. So we've got, um, we think we've got a Badger set over just below the castle and they work their way around through here. They come through the gate, through, um, through to the footpath and they keep the same run for years. This, this run could have been here for 50 years. When you get areas like Bramber Brooks that have been allowed to go back a little bit, you get that long tussocky grassland, those scruffy edges, the reed beds and uh, grown out hedges, which the owls like to roost in. And consequently, it's her giant food store. This is pretty much your 100% guaranteed barn owl sighting place. Right, so over here we've got a barn owl box. They have to think really carefully about where they place it. Um, and it's had barn owls in um, every year since it's been up there for the last three years. Um, well, a mixture of sort of barn owls and jackdaws. So I think there might be jackdaws in there now. Everything is interlinked. We've got to have the trees. And in the trees we have nesting places. Dozens of insects of all sorts live in the trees including butterflies, which some people don't understand that they actually use trees. And then you have the flowers, and the flowers all come at different times of the year. The beauty of this, of especially the nature reserve, it's, it's got water around, it's like a moated area, it's got water right around, and it's the drainage ditch that goes round behind all of the houses in, in Bramber, in Bramber Old Village. So it's effectively uh, like a little island site. And on this island, we've got roe deer. So we've had, uh, I've seen three babies or kids this year, and we had two last year. Um, and we've got, um, uh, we've got foxes over in the north side. So, and lots of small mammals and lots of raptors. And um, we've got buzzards up in the trees up here. Um, it's great. Exploring places like Bramber Brooks. We are so lucky in this area. Just so exciting to think that the, the life cycle is going on. I was watching short-eared owl through my binoculars, fascinated by it, when I then saw Peregrine Falcon drop down and almost take the short-eared owl that took evasive action. But it's sightings like that that are just absolutely phenomenal.